Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video with the Roche Corruption, and today I've got some more Fallout 3 for you guys. And folks, in this episode, we're going to be continuing with the Point Lookout DLC and finding that tribal leader for Desmond, getting some information out of him as to why the tribals are attacking Desmond. It seems like we're doing a lot for Desmond, but he said he's going to give us some rewards, and I'm all about that moolah, about that money. I'm never going to say moolah again because I sound like an idiot. Yeah, I know, guys. Feel free to make fun of me in the comments. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually really loving this DLC. As I said in the last episode, I'm loving it a lot, and I honestly think so far it's by far my favorite DLC. By far. Uh, I mean, I I love the pit. I didn't really like uh, uh, Mothership Zeta or Operation Anchorage. Where do I need to go here? I feel like I could just jump down, but I feel like that would probably be a poor idea. But I guess I'm doing it anyways. I'm just going to jump here. Uh, even though I have, like, no health already. So, yeah, this is probably a stupid idea. I see some enemies on my radar. Uh, apparently, it's just, like, right below me. Okay. But yeah, this is by far my favorite DLC, I would say, because I love the pit, but I just felt like it was sort of short. Maybe that's because I didn't explore the pit enough, and I feel like it is that to an extent. You know, I didn't explore the, the pit as much as I could. Oh, where do I go now? Oh, crap. I feel like there's just going to be Mire Lurks, like, swarming me and stuff, and I'm, I'm not going to like it. Where do I go? I am so confused. I'm, like, right next to it, according to my, my marker. Literally, like, right next to it. I don't understand right now. Oh, wait. Can I just fast travel to it? That would be pretty funny if I could. No, I can't because there are freaking enemies nearby. Gosh darn it. Oh! <sighs> I didn't notice them. Oh my gosh. Well, I did. I just like didn't think they would be right up freaking next to me. Like, holy crap. Where is this place? Ah, uh, game. Stop bugging out. This, this rock sort of looks like a giant rad scorpion. That would be very traumatic if it just up and started moving. Okay, so how do I get there? I'm so confused right now. I realize those Mirelurks are, you know, over there. I didn't realize Mirelurks could, Mirelurks could swim so well. That's pretty, pretty neat. I'm trying to cancel out of Vats, Xbox. Jeez, like I said, Vats is so buggy in Xbox. Uh, but yeah, I love the pit. I thought it was a very good DLC. But the, oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, wait, where did I get the key from? Okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, I love the pit. I just thought it was a little short. Maybe that's because I didn't explore it as much. Uh, but the other two I didn't really like. But this one, this one's, you know, it seems to be pretty long. Very, very big area. A ton of content added. Very, Some very interesting scenes, I guess. Some very interesting experiences with that whole, you know, tripping out after taking those drugs. Or I'm not sure if it was because of the drugs or because they drilled a freaking hole in me. But for whatever reason, we were tripping out. And I have been detected, apparently, which is not good. Uh, shoot. Wait, does it want- it wants me to go out this way? What does it want me to do here? Uh, local map. Oh, no. Okay, no. I think we're heading in the right direction. Okay. Right, I'm gonna be sneaking a ton in here, and the reason why is because I do not have enough health to be messing around with these Mire Lurks guys, for sure. So yeah, um, Point Lookout is pretty much my favorite DLC right now, and I honestly, I, I don't really see that changing all that much. Well, Broken Steel, I suppose. Well, I feel like Broken Steel, Broken Steel, people say, is more, like, essential, and it sort of continues the main quest. So, I don't know, I'm, I, I, I'll have to try out Broken Steel before I say anything. I have seen a lot more footage of Broken Steel than I have of, uh, of this. Um, this one, I had, like, no, no experience with coming in. I had no idea what was gonna happen. Swamp Lurk. We're... Apparently, all Swamp Lurks are, like, these Mire Lurk King-like creatures. Um, I thought, like, you know, that was, like, a... Like, a... There's Swamp Lurk... I thought there were, like, you know, three forms of Swamp Lurks as well. You had, like, Swamp Lurk Hunters, normal Swamp Lurks, and, like, Swamp Lurk Kings, but apparently not. At least it doesn't seem like that's the case. I should probably get out of the water, because I'm taking unnecessary radiation. Where is this leader? Do we need to, like, kill him or something? I kind of want to kill people, and... There are a ton of dead bodies here, which is sort of creepy. I still, speaking of dead bodies, I still can't believe we saw our mom, just, mom skeleton just lying there dead when we were hallucinating. That was just so intense. Like, it was sort of funny up till then. It was just like, whoa, like, like, that's just taking it a little bit too far. And is this, is this guy just like casually meditating in here with like a ton of Mire Lurks on his back? Okay, we're gonna go up to him. We're hidden right now. Do you want to sneak up on him? Probably not. That might not be good. Open coffin. Uh, okay, a confederate hat in a fishing pool. That's so strange. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this tribal leader guy. I feel like it's gonna be really strange. What the hell? What is going on right now? What the heck? I swear I just want to kill this guy. Wait, what? Uh, let's talk to you. Talk. I want to talk. Yourself. I can work with that. 
Valtan, perhaps you can be more useful than that simpering spiritualist and his tribe of idiots. Okay, so I was already very confused when we were hallucinating, but now I have no idea what the hell is going on. Is that a brain? Is that a freaking brain? Am I seeing that wrong or something? Is that, is that like my brain or something like that? I don't know. I, I was remembered of a of a different moment. Uh, never mind. Okay. Uh, what the hell are you? Sure. Can you give me money? Because that's that's what I would like. Uh, useful. What are you using this tribe for? At the moment, they've been no use at all. But I have very few options. They can't even seem to remove a single ghoul from a house. I can't promise anything, but tell me more. Excellent. I cannot tell you how satisfying it is to find a suitable assistant after all these years. Now, the ghoul is a pain, and they require disposal. But Desmond is only of secondary importance. The real target is a device. Uh, okay. Oh, we're gonna level up here, looks like. Yes, we level up. Uh, I have to go now. Okay, um, let's go and level up and choose a perk here. Okay, science, we're gonna get science 200. Uh, just so we can hack all those very hard terminals and lock, we're, we're gonna get to 75. And speech, we're, we're gonna go ahead and put to 32. I feel like it's good. Let's choose a perk. This is always my favorite perk. Uh, even though, even though we have to scroll, like, all the way down. I still don't like the organization of, uh, of this perk chart. Explorer. Explorer could be interesting. Uh, shoot. Let's go in and get Explorer. Why not? I don't know how useful this will be, but we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and do it. Like I said, I don't really know how useful that is. I'm sorry if I'm choosing the wrong perks, uh, but, and he is gone for whatever reason. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and see what we have to do next. Let's check the quest log. Speak with Desmond. Okay, sweet. So I, I think maybe we have a chance to side either with that brain or with Desmond. It was saying something about a brain in the walkthrough, and I, I didn't really know what to think. Uh, but now I think I know. Like, jeez. This 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 Point Lookout DLC is very, very, very strange. Which I sort of like. I'm pressing Y. Did I did my Xbox freeze? No, it didn't. Okay. I always have that fear. We're right back at the cathedral. Oh, there's an entrance right there? That's ridiculous. Okay, I don't know why we couldn't take that before. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and travel back to Desmond, actually. I think we can just go straight back. But yeah, I think I was looking up online. I think you could choose to either side with Desmond or the brain And I think I'm gonna side with Desmond because supposedly the rewards are better when you side with Desmond I think I think that's what I read so Yeah, um, as long as we get there's a gun called the microwave emitter and as long as we get that I feel like it'll be okay I just I just really want to get that and if I'm not mistaken I think you might be able to get it uh, regardless of who, who you side with I'm not 100% certain on that But we need that gun because apparently it's super good and, like, some of the stuff it does, like, it sort of, like, you know, blows up enemies. I wasn't really reading all that much into it, but apparently the stuff it does, like, you know, when it kills enemies sounds really interesting. And it sounds like something I would like, you know, just, like, limbs falling apart and people dying. Let's talk to Desmond. I knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck his head out, and this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Haha, <laughs> nice pun. Uh, so, you know this guy... Oh, so who is this brain thing, anyway? Him. I should have known. My old rival. So close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. He was once a man, Professor Calvert. The Calverts owned half of Maryland, back when there was a Maryland to own. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. They even had a top candidate for president, until that scandal with the dog forced them to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. Wait, how long have you been alive for, Desmond? Jeez. Wait, do ghouls have- I think ghouls have extended lifetimes, so maybe this guy was alive before the bombs dropped? I feel like that's pretty obvious and I'm just missing it. Uh, I'm not I'm not too big on Fallout lore, to be honest. Um, I mean, I like Fallout lore, but I just don't know much about it, is what I'm trying to say. 
Of course, I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me oh, to try. Screw you, dude. Mud hole myself, do you? All right. There better be something good at the end of this. Nothing but the best for people who stay in my good graces. Now, you ready to stop whining and listen? What do you want me to do? So, those halfwits are getting messages from the professor, right? So he's off somewhere broadcasting to him. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find that squishy little worm and finish him off for good. Okay. So how do we shut him down? If I know the professor, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. The I hell does that, that mean? device to jam up that little worm's talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point around and install it. Easy, right? Yeah, I can do that. The big wheel down by the docks, right? Right. Attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now, go. Okay, let's go ahead and do that, I guess. I thought we could do that and then end up the episode, maybe. Depends on how far away it is, though. Uh, with my luck, it's going to be like, like literally like at the other end of the map. That's how everything seems to be in this DLC. Like, like Bethesda's literally intentionally trolling us. Like, the cathedral's at the other end of the map from the Calver Mansion. When we were in that bog, we literally had to go, like, like around, and then, like, from one end of the map to the other, and it was just ridiculous. Okay, let me check. Let me check. Uh, That's not that bad. And, oh, we have this here, Pilgrim's Landing. Oh, it's actually right next to... Oh, it's right next to the start. Okay. Maybe we could talk back, talk to that sleazebag Tobar. I think that's his name. I forget what his name was. Tell him about Nadine. I wonder what Nadine's mom is gonna say. If my if if, if my sister ran off, my mom would freak out. Yo guys, sorry about the abrupt cut there, but the reason why I cut out was that my computer actually wasn't plugged into power, and I nearly lost this entire recording because it ran out of battery. Uh, well, it almost ran out of battery. If it had run out of battery, I would have actually lost the entire recording, which unfortunately this isn't the first time that's happened. Uh, I've lost entire recordings in the past, and it's never good. And how are you talking to me? He's in our mind. What the hell? Gosh, this DLC is so strange. I don't really, I don't really know what to say. It's strange in a good way, though. I, I, do, I, I am loving this DLC, like I was saying. Just the atmosphere, the general atmosphere. It's so strange how we transition from, like, tribal ground to, like, a mansion and then to this Ferris wheel place. But anyways. I don't really care about what this dude is saying. We're just gonna side with Desmond and call it a day. Because, like, I do sort of like Desmond. He's an asshole to us sometimes, but I, I sort of like him. It's like, you know, the whole tough love thing. Or maybe he's just an asshole and maybe I'm just misinterpreting it. Uh, install the Cogwave Gemma. And we're going to activate the electrical switch. Uh, you can shut up, Calvert. I don't really care. His name is Calvert, right? And now we need to return to the mansion. Uh, we can just fast travel back. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, wait. Why do we need to go over there? We're gonna go to the Calvert mansion. Enemies are nearby. Oh, no. No. I don't have enough health for this. Uh, I'm gonna have to sneak past them. I am... Definitely gonna have to sneak past them. Oh crap, oh crap. I can't believe they didn't notice me. This armor is so OP, guys. It's ridiculous. Uh, and. Ooh. I hope they don't notice me. Please don't notice me. Please don't notice me. Oh my gosh, guys. That was so clutch. This is so clutch. The thing is, I hope there aren't any near the dock because then I'm gonna have to sneak a really long way just to get out of here. Because we can't fast travel when there are enemies around, which is good, because if you could fast travel when there, enemy, when, when, when there were enemies around, then it would sort of break the game if you think about it. Because, like, if you're getting shot and you're about to die, then you can just fast travel and get out of there. I remember, like, in the past, I tried to fast travel while falling, and you can't do that either. That would be so OP, too. Like, you're about to die from falling, you're just, like, fast travel to a different location. Okay, I think, I think we've gotten around them. Uh, just a, cu a couple more steps out here, and hopefully we can fast travel. Oh man, that was... Uh, I'm glad we were able to sneak out of the way, because if we hadn't snuck out of the way, then I think we would have died for sure. Because there were a ton of tribals, and those tribals are OP as crap. It's ridiculous how freaking powerful they are for stupid tribals. Uh, 
But yeah, I actually think I'm going to go ahead and end off the video here. We will go back to the Calvert Mansion in the next episode. And I just realized it's very strange how Desmond is in the Calvert Mansion when our opponent is uh, that Calvert dude. I think I think that brain is the Calvert dude. I think I think that's what he was saying. Uh, but yeah, guys, as always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for more follow content in the future. The comment question of the day is who is your favorite character or NPC from the Point Lookout DLC? For me, it's probably Desmond. I do like Desmond despite him being an asshole. I, saw, I sort of like him. He, he's got an interesting attitude, I guess you could say. I also like Nadine, so it's a tough choice between those two, but I think probably Desmond. Uh, but let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next episode of Fallout 3.